The weather couldn't dampen the spirit of Royal Ascot. But after all, in Ascot week, who cares about the weather? The Queen of the Shah of Iran, who was there on a private visit. Happily acknowledging the colourful scene, Princess Anne and the Queen Mother. And before the horse parade, the fashion parade. Blooming lovely, Nina Barton-Smith with real flowers. Hope she's immune to hay fever. Long dresses seem to be quite the thing again. There's number eight, St. Ives. Duncan Keith gets into the saddle on number six, Rock Roy. Pat Eddery on Erimo Hawk. And there's an optimistic punter. And so to the 3.45 at Ascot, the Gold Cup. Number one, Dutomas in the lead, ridden by Fred Morby. Dutomas led the field till halfway round the two and a half mile course, but after that quickly faded away. Now rounding the bend for the final time. And it's almost neck and neck as the two leaders race for the post. Rock Roy nearest to the rails and Erimo Hawk battling for a prize of over 18,000 pounds. First at the post is Rock Roy. Unfortunately, Rock Roy was disqualified after a steward's inquiry. The official placings were Erimo Hawk first, second Rock Roy and third Irving. Mrs. Schilling had obviously spent more than a bob on this creation he was obviously dressed for the weather. You know, my dear, I always pretend I haven't noticed her. <laughs> <laughs>